Ushin Jana. That does not sound like a lot of fun to me. <laughs> uh, I want to see how this early lane uh, matchups work out. But you guys at home, will G2 pick up a win here? Hashtag G2. Oh. does he know? No. He oh. wants them. Oh. I wonder why he's up here. This is just going to be an and easy exhaust. kill. Exhaust into the stun. The vault will put Ooh. him away, but the knockback from Kickers. Two tower shots and first blood oh. damage. Emperor, they're in trouble. Both have flashes available. There's a response from G2. Teleport is coming down into the tri bush, and Nisbet is the first one to get stunned up. Everybody's jumping in on the fight. Trashy forced to flash away. Senkax gets a glitter lance down to hybrid. Summon a heal will keep him alive a few seconds longer before there's a reply back from Splice. Now Splice are on the retreat. It's all of a sudden trash. That's gone down one for one. Kick. Well, this is a lane. This kind of goes to the point I was about to make. So now that we don't see Frostbeam's claim anymore. Man stack teleports available for kickers, no, but he's also. busy recalling. Trick is gonna dash over the wall. He's gonna find some support from perks, and the chaos storm will come down shortly. There's already a kill down onto Trick. It's trashy that picks it up in the jungle on jungle. Nisbet gets chunked out, and the kill credits over to perks. Now kickers in hybrid. They're on the front line. Emperor's got mana and health, and he's pushing for more. It's a two for two, and Splash are running away. Tag onto trashy. He needs two more connections for the stun, and it will not find just yet. But hybrid, he's now pinged onto Senka. Arcane Shift should be available for Emperor if he wants to. Uses it with the flash, and they get Senkex for a third. Reading targets that the rest of G2 collapse on. And it just allowed them to accelerate further and further ahead. Now Perks, Chaos Storm is still available. Throws it down at Trashy's head. But the Burrow... Looking for an engage over the wall. Heroic charge. Trashy's already gone. Glacial Fisher. Good Two knocker. Bad knocker. Kickus has found them. And with the steadfast presence, nobody can get away. There's a pin against the wall for Senkax. And G2 find two. The first one was the first. One, there's the second. 20 minutes in. G2 start the Baron. They've got the third largest gold lead at 20 minutes we've seen in spring. Uh, Senkax. No bite from Winter onto Senkax. Uh, tunnel forward for Trashy. He's not caught in the middle of G2. Cobby's pulling pressure on the wow. side, but he's just dies. He got he's bumped. gone. There's two. Triple kill for Emperor. And now wonder where you're too late to the party, and it is over. There's even oh. tower shots for the ace. Health after starting a Baron, and Splice come in for the fight, and G2 destroy them in the fight, just because of how far ahead they are. And this all started from minute one. With the early kill onto Wonderware, getting Emperor. Important tool for holding onto those towers. Kickers, he stuns Wonderware up and wow. he knocks Just... him back for the kill. Solo takes Wonderware out. out from the tower. The rest of G2, they know Senkax was healing. He's going to be late. Inhibitor will drop in the middle lane. The shortest win time in spring is 23 minutes and 59 seconds. If G2 keep this push up, challenger, and you can see the difference between and the growth between the two is night and day. It really is. Perks will be in trouble. Chaos Storm goes down, still alive. 200 hit boys, still alive. This gets oh, away with his life. Now Kobe's the focus. Emperor is tagging him. Arcan shifts aggressively forward for the triple kill. There's two targets left. Gonna continue to shut it. It's not gonna be able to beat the Quadra as Trick is the one that shuts down Senka. Another ace for G2. And they will just Not about, <laughs> just about, beat their record. It's only going to be a few seconds slower, but Gamers 2, a flawless week. 2-0 in week 4. The ace under tower while taking the tower.